that's what Steve Schwartzman's going to say about the economy. Digging below the surface, though, J.P. Morgan lowering their growth forecast. Atlanta Fed GDP uh, forecast lower as well. And you wind up having uh, Barclays saying the risks of hard landing are increasing. What is the bond market telling you? Well, I think that key word that Schwartzman used was the confidence. What you're seeing is a lot of confidence and optimism of where the economy is going. And you see that reflected in a lot of the soft data, the surveys. But it hasn't really been supported by the hard data. And we have seen some softening in the hard data over the past few months. So really, I think what's being priced in is fairly optimistic. And the risk might be to the downside that the data doesn't come in to support that. And I think that's why you see a little bit of retracement in bond market yields in treasuries. And, uh, and at the same time, though, you have a Larry Kudlow now saying, Fed, get out of the way. This is what he said yesterday. The growth is not inflationary. Just let it rip, for heaven's sake. Is that the right call? And how does the bond market then respond to that? Well, I think on our side that we do believe that there's more room for the economy to grow, that there's more slack still in the economy. If you look at prime age workers between the ages of 25 and 54, there's still one or two million that are still out there that could still be employed. So I, I suppose that, that we do side with Kudlow a little bit in the sense that inflation is not going to be a fear. So, so Bonnie, reconcile two things for me, if you could. On the one hand, you say that there's some slack in the economy. On the other hand, if you look at what the Fed talks about, so their so-called speed limit in the economy, when we're growing at 2.5 or 2.9 percent GDP, that's actually exceeding the speed limit. How do you reconcile those two things? And is inflation around the corner? Well, it really does come down to inflation, like you said, David. And inflation doesn't seem to be a big <clears throat> risk right now. I think that with there still being some room for employment to the employment rate, unemployment rate to go down, that inflation is not imminent. Uh, and what we see is there are structural forces in the economy that will limit that inflation. And when you say growth is good, it's still between two and two and a half percent is still quite moderate compared to historical episodes, which would also limit that risk of inflation. So, Bonnie, 10 and 30 year yields are on their way to their worst weeks so far this year. What's the play on the curve? Well, if you look to see how much the curve is flattened, um, it certainly makes you think, you know, looking at the belly of the curve, that that could be a little bit more attractive. And that's something that we have been doing, moving some of our duration more from the long end and into the in intermediate part of the curve. And particularly outside of treasuries, that looks quite attractive in the credit space, where the credit curve has flattened a lot as well.